Happy Friday, guys. Aaron from PhoneDog.com here. The tablet wars continue. You know, we saw all these tablets at CES, CTIA, Mobile World Congress, and all these trade shows since, and they're finally coming to market. One of those is the HTC Flyer, at least the Wi-Fi version, which is coming to Best Buy uh, on the 22nd, on Sunday. So it's a well-equipped device, 1.5 gigahertz uh, processor, Android 2.3, so it's not running Honeycomb, which may be something that deters you, something like the G Slate or the Motorola Zoom. And then, of course, it has that cool feature where you can write on the screen, HTC Scribe technology, write on the screen, take notes, and more with the pen. Now, the pen's separate, but HTC was nice enough to send over one that we could use for the unboxing and for the review. So is this a tablet for you? We're gonna find out that and more in the unboxing, but first, special thanks to our friends at Best Buy. They're hooking us up with a cool smartphones, tablets, and more for use in our One Paw Bandit game. So when you go into Best Buy Mobile, you walk out working, they're gonna, all these little icons you see here, see these icons? They're gonna help you set all that up when you go into Best Buy. But enough of that, let's get into the unboxing. HTC Flyer, is this a tablet for you? We'll try to figure that out. Another tablet coming to the market, but this is a Wi-Fi only version and it's being sold exclusively through Best Buy. The HTC Flyer, it's coming uh, May 22nd, so this Sunday, to Best Buy for $499.99. Now that may sound like a good deal, it's a 16 gigabyte tablet, has a 1.5 gigahertz processor. Some are frustrated that it's running Android 2.3 with HTC Sense as opposed to Android 3.0 or 3.1, which was announced at Google I.O. But uh, price point, very good. The downside is you have to buy the stylus separately. HTC was nice enough to send over all this, so special thanks to them, but the stylus is an, eight, an extra 80 bucks. So you're looking at 500 for the tablet, 80 bucks for the stylus. So uh, it can add up pretty quickly. But seven inch display, five megapixel camera on the back, 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. And this is the, uh, the white version. Now if you go back to the, uh, the Evo, uh, or the, uh, the, the flyer, hang on one second, that's coming to Sprint, Pull this out of the thing. I can't talk and unbox at the same time. If you look at, if you remember that one, it's uh, it's a dark gray. This is the original kind of Mobile World Congress looking tablet that's silver and white. Now you have your micro SD card slot up here. I don't know if I can pull it off with one hand. No pun intended. I don't know if I can. There we go. Okay. So you can see there's the micro SD card slot. So while you have 16 gigabytes of storage, you can expand that via a micro SD card slot right there. So all in all, a great looking tablet, you know, it feels good. I actually prefer the black one. So, you know, maybe color will depend on what you prefer. But it's a good looking tablet. Feel, you know, feels nice. It has a nice fit to it. Seven inch display. And uh, the unibody metal construction is definitely nice with the, uh, and the plastic, even though it is plastic, it goes well with the overall aesthetic. So five megapixel camera on the back, like I said, but no flash. You have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the top with a power button, volume rocker, uh, micro USB charging port, which looks like an HTC custom one. We'll have to take a look at that. It has a kind of a different look to it. And then nothing on this side, your front facing camera over here. So let's power it on. And while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and get the stylus all set up and ready to go. Take a look at it. Get this battery out. Now this is a quadruple A battery. You don't see those very often. Quadruple A. A, 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 A. So we'll get that out and get that set up and we'll take a look at the box as well while we're setting everything up. I think it goes down that way. We'll figure it out. I think so, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so there's the pin, the stylus, ready to go. And then here's what comes in the box. You have these little nifty things, uh, HTC Void, HTC Void, not sure where those go. But again, this you know came to us beforehand, so it could be something, you know, pre-production or something. Press from the center, this shows you how to remove the, uh, the battery or excuse me, remove to access a micro SD card. Your HTC Flyer quick guide there. Contact us, safety and regulatory guide, and then warranty statement. So you have a couple little manuals that come with it. And you get some stuff over here in these cornstarch bags. And true to uh, the color, they match the actual color of the tablet. Now you can see, like I said, that micro SD or micro uh, USB, I can't talk today, plug looks a little different but there is what it looks like on the USB cable. And then here's, of course, your charger. Also the cornstarch recyclable, uh, eco-friendly bag. Let's pull that out. And then there's what that looks like. So a little different. It'll be interesting to see if it actually charges with a standard uh, micro USB charger. So that's what you get in the box. Now that it's powered on, let's play with, uh, play with the tablet. So it comes with the Android 2.3 with HTC Sense user interface. And uh, here's what it looks like. The weather pops up, and then, of course, you can drag down anything into that little circle like mail. And uh, let me get this set up. Welcome to your pen. Let's see, it must be the first time, yeah it is. Your pen is for drawing, well, wow. 
Uh, and I just, as I said, wow, I was like, didn't use it the way it was intended to be used. So I wonder, okay, so let's see here. Bring it over here. Snap that, now I can scribble on it. Do the screenshot so I can look at that and say awesome. Awesome. That's how awesome spelled, right? Awesome. And then let's see here. Uh, let's change it over actually to paintbrush. And let's look at the color. Actually, let's change it to paintbrush. And then go back. And then we'll go to red. Make the sun really red. And it's 176 degrees. Instead of 645, it's 845 AM. So you can play around with it, have some fun with it. You get the idea, but it's great for something like taking notes or doing something in class. We need to take a screenshot and take a look at something. Now these are saved in your gallery file. So when you're done, I guess we can go save. And I can either email it to myself or I can uh, set up an account with Evernote or share it through some other uh, other mediums. And that's, yeah, that's the problem. You're gonna have the habit, at least I do, of wanting to use it for everything when in reality it's just for drawing. So let's see, let's do another one. Bam. And then we can play around with it some more. And I just turned it off. Let's see what this button does. Okay, so it just turns it off, back on. You can have some fun with it. And play around. So I'm sorry, I'm having way too much fun over video. So let's go through a quick run through of the uh, the applications on the device. You get Amazon MP3. Now again, this is Wi-Fi only, so you can see it's connected to Wi-Fi. And here's what my notifications bar looks like. I have notifications and quick settings down here thanks to this new version of HTC Sense it's running and then I can scroll in between all frequent and downloaded over here. So downloads, Facebook, Friendstream, HTC Hub, HTC Likes, nice to see both of those on there. Kid Mode, which I'm assuming allows you to put the tablet in Kid Mode, then of course we can flip it over into Landscape and use it this way too. Polaris Office, PDF Viewer, SoundHound, so you get some stuff out of the box and actually some pretty decent programs as well. Twitter, voice search and you see that when I turn it into landscape the buttons follow me. So the buttons are down here. The ability to uh, scribble is over here. So you can see up, down, and it switches the buttons with it. So very easy to use, very clean. And of course you have camera application. Let's see what else you have. Um, and the rest looks to be pretty uh, pretty stock Android in terms of apps. So let's see what version. It's obviously running uh, Android 2.3 it's running HTC Sense 3.0. Let's see some of the changes here that are optimized for the tablet. You can see pin over there. Let's customize that. Pin history, I can set, uh, save separate pin history for each app. I can start scribble mode when I tap the screen. So, of course, I'm gonna have this carousel that's typical of uh, Sense 3.0. So let's go into weather here. Actually, let's tap the screen. And as soon as I tap the screen, because that's turned on, it saves, it doesn't just let you write on the screen, it actually saves a screenshot, and then now I can write on the screen, phone dog. You get the idea. So, and then from there I can share it, save it, print, or discard. So obviously the key functionality here is the ability to scribble on it with HTC Scribe, to save those, to send those, and all in a uh, compact form factor that's Wi-Fi only. Now it's available, like I said, for uh, Best Buy for $499.99. Is this the tablet for you? Well, we're gonna do some more research on it and we'll figure it out in the review. But again, it gives you an early look at what the uh, HTC Flyer, the Wi-Fi version, is gonna look like when it comes to Best Buy on Sunday. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com of the HTC Flyer and some tablet dog fights and more. Be sure to like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. I'm gonna keep doing this carousel over and over and over again at uh, facebook.com slash phone dog because we're giving away iPads, smartphones, and more as part of our colossal iPad 2 and smartphone sweepstakes. So keep a lookout for that and uh, be sure to enter the contest. Like me, uh, follow me on Facebook as well, facebook.com slash phone dog AB and follow me on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next time.